Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Rami. I make videos all about nursing and medicine. I am currently a third year medical student officially, so now I only have two years left of medical school. In today's video, I wanna talk all about how to get into medical school after high school. This is a sort of video I wish I would've watched when I was in high school because I did not have a mentor. This video would've been really useful to me, so I know all of my different options before getting into medical school. I actually made a video called how to get into nursing school after high school and that video did really well and that video still gets lots of comments to this day. I made it like two years ago. This helped a lot of you guys out and a lot of high schoolers who are really interested in getting into nursing. So in this video I want to do the same thing and just help you guys out and just answer all of the different questions you may have. I want to start with a quick little story about myself. I remember being a senior in high school and I remember one of my teachers was like what major do you want to do when you get into college next year and I was like oh I really want to do pre-med and she was like pre-med that's not a major and I was like okay what does that even mean I'm about to start college next semester in the fall like what is she talking about so after doing a little bit of research I realized that there are traditional majors that most pre-med students major in and there are non-traditional majors which is basically everything else so let me break it down for you guys. Typically pre-med majors will major in something like biology, chemistry, biochemistry, physics, or just general biological sciences. The reason why most pre-med majors pick one of these traditional majors is because most classes required for medical school, the medical school prerequisites is what we'll call them, are interwoven throughout those majors. So if you major in biology, the classes you will need to take in order to get a medical school are already in that curriculum. So you don't have to choose these courses outside of your major, if that makes sense. For example, I majored in nursing. I did not have any of my medical school prerequisites in my nursing school courses, um, what was just laid out for me year by year that I'm required to take for nursing. So I had to take these classes outside of my nursing school curriculum. So I literally spent every single summer taking my medical school prerequisite so I could graduate nursing school with the option of going into medical school if I wanted to. And that is what all the non-traditional majors will have to do. Non-traditional majors are literally every major you can think of that's not in the traditional list that we just talked about. That could be anywhere from music, business, English, Art. You can literally pick any major that you're interested in as long as you take these medical school prerequisites in order to get into medical school. So the requirements for medical school is any bachelor's degree, taking the MCAT, and then the medical school prerequisites, which I will write down below, but I'm pretty sure it's biology one and two, chemistry one and two, organic chemistry one and two, and physics one and two. There's also one semester of biochem, and pretty much all of those classes will require a lab besides biochem. But I'll write down below just to make sure. So if you happen to have already graduated college, you can always do these medical school prerequisites afterwards if you're currently working. You can do it anytime at any university. You can even go to a community college. You can literally pick any major you want if you don't want to be a traditional major. All you have to do is just take these medical prerequisites and do really well on them and get the best grades you can because most medical schools will look at your GPA overall and your GPA for just these requirements and your MCAT score. There are many medical schools out there that will look at you overall as a whole applicant, which thankfully that's what my medical school did for me because I had lower stats. There are options for you out there if you happen to get lower stats, but of course try to aim for the highest scores that you can. To kind of summarize it up so far, after high school you have to go to either a four-year university, you can also go to community college and take basic courses courses for whatever major you eventually want to end up in as long as you have a bachelor's degree in the end. Community colleges are the cheaper route. It will save you a ton of money in the long run. So if you have in mind kind of what you want to do, kind of what you want to major in, you can pick that major at a community college and they will set you up with the basic courses that you will need in the first one or two years of that major that you'll basically be taking at the university anyways for a much cheaper price. Your other option is to go straight into a four-year university and they will set you up with the exact plan that you will need. If you do happen to go non-traditional, they will not set you up with a medical school prerequisites unless you ask. So you have to tell them that you want to do English, for example, with an emphasis in taking my medical school prereqs. I guess you can all say with an emphasis in medicine, but sometimes they're confused. Let me be honest. I had so many comments of people saying, my advisor has no idea what I'm talking about. I'm a non-traditional major or I'm a nursing major and they're telling me that I can't just take 
biology one and two along with my nursing courses even though i have room on my credits you kind of just got to tell them that's what you want to do and that's what i did my advisor was very confused as well when i was in nursing school and she was like what are you trying to do here um, so I kind of explained that I'm trying to get into medical school after nursing school. Please just add this to my plan. Um, and then she did. So I fit in the medical school prerequisites whenever I had extra credit. When you're considered full time, I think it's like 17 credits. But sometimes my nursing school courses added me up to like 12 or 13 credits. And I just added on the extra four credits or whatever to make myself a full time student without going over. Because then you have to pay extra for tuition. Um, most colleges or universities consider students as full time at 12 to 17 credits. I'll put on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, so basically the tuition is at a set price. So I just took advantage of the credits that I was given and just packed my schedule to the maximum amount of credits that I could take every semester. When I couldn't fit it in during the semester, um, like time-wise, like when I started clinicals and things like that, I couldn't just go to the lab or whatever, um, like at night. So I had to do that during the summer when I was off. After you're getting close to finishing your major and your plan is to get into medical school right after you graduate, you wanna take your MCAT in the third year of undergrad. Or towards the summer is when you want to start taking your MCAT because it takes one month to get your scores back. So you can get that score to apply to medical school the fall or first semester of your senior year, your fourth year of undergrad. So you want to have everything ready before you apply to medical school. You aren't required to have every single one of your medical school prerequisites on your transcript just yet if you're going to take it during your fourth year. So that will just be counted in process. Ideally, by the time you graduate fourth year, you want to have all your prerequisites done. You want to have your MCAT taken and you want to have all your applications submitted by the fall. Every application system System is different for example I applied in Texas so it was October 31st I believe was like the deadline but it's always different every year sometimes it's like November 1st I know if you apply through the AMC that deadline is also probably different so you just want to keep an eye out on deadlines of when you need to be submitting your applications for medical schools to review during your fourth year ideally you want to submit your application as early as possible I think they open early summer and the deadline is actually October 31st so you want to submit your application as early as possible Possible, especially if you have lower stats. You want all the medical schools to be able to check out your application because sometimes they're interviewing in between this time and if you apply too late all the seats will be filled. So the earlier the better. You want to be interviewing around this time from the summer to the fall and they usually get your acceptance sometime early January February of your fourth year like that last semester you are graduating. So you will know by then if you have gotten to medical school or not. Sometimes they put you on the wait list and sometimes you have to actually take a gap year if you don't get in that year. That's okay, just keep pushing. It took me four years to finally get accepted into medical school, but I made many mistakes along the way. Number one, there were two years I only applied to one medical school, which is crazy. I didn't have a mentor out there, guys. So I'm literally doing this out on my own, thinking I'm gonna get into this medical school who was associated with my undergraduate university. So everyone gets an interview that's interested in this medical school, which is crazy. But I interviewed with them twice. I thought I did so good on the interview. I thought I didn't have to apply to any other medical schools because it's expensive. And here I am with another rejection. The very first time, my fourth year, I applied to all of the medical schools here in Texas and I applied to two out of state. I finally got in. That is one of my next tips to apply broadly the very first time. Don't just be applying to a few medical schools here and there that you're really interested in. Honestly, medical school is just part of the journey of your ultimate goal to become a doctor. To me, it doesn't truly matter what medical school you get in. Yes, you want the best curriculum. Yes, you want the best faculty out there that's going to help you. But overall, you are going to be doing your own studying off third-party resources just like every other medical student and basically teaching yourself for the most part all these concepts because there's just so much to know in medical school and no faculty member could teach you every single detail you need to know in order to pass boards. Especially if you have lower stats like I did, apply as broadly as you can, apply to out of state if you can as well and if you can afford to live there. So if you happen to be one of those people who need to take a gap year, um, whether for personal reasons or your stats were a little bit lower or you applied and you just couldn't get into medical school, there are many different reasons why people take gap years. Looks really good on your application if you improve yourself as much as you can can during that gap year. For example, you can do a research year, so just doing as much research as you can, or doing a master's program during that time. You could do a master's in public health, which is a two-year program, 
or you can do a master's in biomedical sciences, which is what I applied into. It's a one-year program. I didn't get to finish it because I got into medical school, but it looked really good on my application that I was doing that to improve myself. Overall, during these next four years, if you are trying to be a doctor after high school, the best thing you can do to improve your application is to volunteer as much as you can, get as many hours as you can, um, maybe do some work experiences if you can. Being a TA or teacher's assistant is something that looks really good. Being a scribe, being a certified nursing assistant, which is what I was, or just doing some science related jobs like in research during college to kind of boost your resume, boost your application, to make yourself look a lot better applying into medical school. Summary of what happens after medical school. You do medical school for four years, and then you apply to be the kind of doctor you wanna be. For example, I wanna do ob -GYN. So I will be doing a four year residency after medical school. And by then you're already called a doctor. You just get really, really low pay to train yourself to be the doctor that you wanna be. And after that, you're considered an attending. If you watch Grey's Anatomy, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you wanna do something like surgery, that's a five to seven year residency, depending on what kind of surgeon you wanna do, if you wanna specialize, things like that. Family medicine is three years after medical school. So there's so many specialties you can get into as a medical student, and the process is the same. You're trying to volunteer as much as you can, do as much research as you can during medical school, which is what I'm trying to do right now, all of those things, to boost my resume, to apply to all the ob -GYN residencies, and hopefully, one will accept me and I get matched in two years. So yeah, that is all. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to follow me along on my journey. Please give this a thumbs up if this helped you and please leave me a comment if you have any questions at all. And yeah, best of luck to you. Keep trying hard, keep working hard and you will eventually reach your goals. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!